All right then, so I feel like so far we've been getting hold of all the basics of Materialize and a lot of it, in my view, is pretty boring stuff, but you have to know it to move on and do the better stuff. So now I'd like to introduce some of the more meatier concepts of Materialize. We're going to start with buttons and I think these classes are amazing for creating buttons really quickly. So as you can see again, I just have this div with a class of container and inside an H4 saying buttons, then we have these anchor tags right here. And these are going to be our buttons once we've classed them up, we've given them classes. And then we're going to do a floating button example and I'm going to show you other elements as well. So at the minute, this looks like this on the page, nothing special, but we're now going to start creating buttons very quickly. So to make a normal button in Materialize, all we do is give something a class of BTN and that magically creates a button for you. So if we take a look at this, you're going to be surprised how easy this was. It creates a nice button with a nice little hover effect right there. So that is super easy to do to create a button like this. All right. So what if that is a bit large? What if we want a slightly smaller button? Well, we can say BTN hyphen small, and that's going to do that for us. And we should see a slight decrease in size. Not much, but there is something. And same goes for large button. We could say BTN hyphen large, and that is going to give us a gigantic button like so. All right then, so what else can we do? Well, we can color our buttons something different because by default, they all get this kind of greeny button over here. But if we want to override that, we can do. We know how to apply background colors. We just give them a class keyword for that color. So I could say I want a button, first of all, then I want to make this indigo. So if we save that and preview this, now we get an indigo button. Awesome, right? Okay, so what about a disabled button, a button that you don't want someone to click yet or you want to prevent them from clicking yet? Well, dead easy to do again. We say BTN for button, then we say disabled. So if we save that and see this, we can see that this is all grayed out now and it doesn't have a hover effect. So that's a disabled button for you. All right then, so another kind of button is a floating button and these are kind of circular buttons that we normally put icons inside of or something like that. So let me just show you a quick example of this. I'm going to come to this anchor tag right here and the class I'm going to give to this is BTN hyphen floating. So this is a floating button then. Now if I save that and view it in a browser then we can see this is circular now and when we look at icons we'll look at creating these circular buttons with icons inside them and we will look more at floating buttons later on in the series as well. But for now, let's just make this a different color, first of all, and save it. We can see now it becomes pink, that's cool. And I wanna show you something really cool here. We add a class of pulse, and this is gonna give this button a pulsating effect. Now this really only works on floating buttons. You're not probably gonna get it to work on these buttons right here, but on a floating button, it looks really nice and just draws your attention to the button. All right, now it's not just anchor tags we can apply this button class to. We can apply it to other elements as well. We have a div class right here, so I could quite as easily give this a button class and it's going to do exactly the same thing right here. So that makes a button as well. Obviously, you just have to um, hook up your JavaScript or react to this div in some way, shape or form because it's not an anchor tag anymore. It's not going to take you anywhere. So you have to do that functionality yourself, but you can apply it to different tags as well, not just anchor tags. All right, so I wanna show you one more cool thing now, and that is the wave effect for these buttons. So if we wanna make this look a little cooler, what we could do is go to one of these buttons and say waves effect, and then we'll say waves hyphen light. In fact, we'll do it on a couple of them. So we'll give this top one a waves effect as well, and we'll say waves light. So two different classes, waves effect, and waves light and if we go over here now and hover over one of these buttons did we save it yes we did so now if we click on this check what happens we get that little wave effect see it starts light and it zooms outwards to the edge of the buttons same for this one which we applied it to nice little effect but if we do the other ones it doesn't do that only with the ones uh, that have the waves effect classes to them and we could make this waves dark if we wanted to Save that. I don't think it quite looks as good, but it still does the trick. That goes darker instead of lighter when we click it. 
All right, so there's some simple buttons for you to get cracking on with. I think it's really cool, this class, and lets us very, very easily create all these cool looking buttons.